Hey everyone, Chen Chen here, bringing you guys another video. Today, we got very exciting news. Finally, some sort of auction changes. Um, these were not necessarily what I was personally looking for. I was personally looking for some sort of direct buff, but hey, we'll take these. So, um, a lot of people throughout the community is kind of confused with these changes, wondering whether it's a nerf or a buff. I am going to explain in this video my brain processing my opinions on the matter and stuff like that if you guys agree obviously let me know down in the comments below anyways if you enjoy the video smash the like button let's get started as you can see uh we are in spider axe twitter spider axe basically post confirmed changes from the pbe up to you know the next patch and as we can see auction changes over here now personally i am very shook that auction is getting changes i do think auction needs a buff and higher mmrs but in lower MMR, he does fairly well. I don't necessarily even say that in the sense that he's weak. I say that in the sense that his kit is very flawed. And in higher elo, people who know how to play against Auction makes it so Auction is virtually useless majority of the games, right? He doesn't offer any utility. He offers a res, but if the teammates is literally clumped up like a ball, you're not resing anybody. Stuff like that. So me personally, I think Auction's kit is flawed in higher elos because they know how to play against him, and it makes him really, really hard to play. With that being said, though, this change is pretty interesting. As you can see, health growth is increased from 104 to 107, armor growth is increased from 4.2 to 4.7, AD growth reduced from 3.5 to 3. So, as you can see, basically, he is getting tankier for losing AD. Now, let me just spit my, you know, opinions on this matter, stuff like that, and you guys let me know down in the comments below if you guys agree. Me personally, I think this is more inclined to fixing Auction's weaknesses. What do I mean by this? Well, back in the old days, when speaking about how to fix Auction as a champion, because he is fundamentally flawed, I did want to make a video about this, but it'd be so chaotic, so like, you know, stuff like that. But he's fundamentally flawed in the sense that he's an assassin champion with one dash, and if he doesn't kill anyone, he's dead. And then he's like a semi eighty carry champion in the sense that he has to go in very deep, similar to Vayne and Samira, but he doesn't have any self peel tools, right? So one thing that I suggested back in the old days was like, remove his res, because his res is power creeping the living shit out of his kid, and add maybe like armor MR growth, or armor and MR gaining, after he leaves self, something like that, right? That way, it allows his kid to actually play like a champion. There's actually a identity to him, right? You can play in stealth, you could leave stealth, become tankier, and, you know, start fighting, stuff like that. Um, that was just a brain process or a thought I had if I cared about how to change Auction in a positive light. I think that would have made him fit more into, um, like an AD carry, for example, that can build bruiser-esque items, but play and skirmish very well, stuff like that. But right now, he's just a very weird champion. He's an assassin, AD carry with one dash, unreliable dash that can get stopped, so he's not really an assassin, because every assassin has like two or more dashes that are very reliable. And then he's like an AD carry, but he has to go super in. So his kit is very, very interesting, which in my personal opinion is the reason why he's not played as much, right? Very, very weird kit very flawed kit in my opinion but this change actually brings him more in line with like a champion that can actually go in and not just completely get one shot right health growth and a armor growth this helps a lot it helps in a lot of cases in the sense that every single game there's probably going to be an ad carry every single game there's probably going to be a bruiser um and a lot of games and a lot of matchups for auction more specifically top than mid, which kind of sucks because I'm a mid auction player. But even in mid, some of his hardest matchups, Zed, Yasuo, Irelia. Now, don't get me wrong. Irelia doesn't give a shit about any of this. She builds Bork. It doesn't matter if you have a thousand armor, you're dead anyways. But, you know, Kiana, Talon, you know, the list goes on. Stuff like that. Yone. This change matters. It really does, right? It makes the matchup a lot easier in a lot of cases, right? You might be like Chen Chen, but you're losing AD. So that means you lose kill threat. Cool. But you stay in the map longer. You can play for your items longer. Stuff like that. 
I see this change as a more mid-game oriented change. What do I mean by this? If you don't know how health growth and armor growth works, it works scaling basically together. What I mean by this is the more health you have, the better the armor is. The more armor you have, the better getting health is, right? If you have a thousand armor, but zero health, you're still squishy, right? Vice versa, if you have a thousand health, but zero armor, you're still squishy. But they scale very aligned to each other. So why is this change good in the mid game? Well, think of auction items. He likes ninja tabbies, right? If they have three or more AD carries, or, you know, AD dealing champions, he loves ninja tabbies. Another item he loves, guardian angel. Generally speaking, you know, he likes a six item guardian angel, which he can build, you know, maybe fourth or fifth, depending on what build and depending on how many AD carry champions they have, right? All of that item building makes this change a lot better. Another thing he likes, overgrowth as a rune. You are more incentivized to go overgrowth. That just keeps on stacking and stacking and stacking, and it helps him become more tanky. Now, an interesting change that me personally, I don't necessarily enjoy, but I will give, you know, the light of day. Stridebreaker Auction, we've seen it, we've heard of it. Indexy has been running it previously. Any Bruiser item that has health, you're more incentivized to build. Me personally, I think I'm still sticking with my IE Gwensu's build, um, you know, that I did a video a while ago. I'm still going that build, it still works wonders for me. Um, it makes the most sense to me, it fits my playstyle the best. But, if you are a Stride Breaker or Bruiser Auction Enjoyer, this change is for you. You get infinite value from it, right? And you won't even care about the AD growth that you're missing at that point. So. That's just something very important to know. Now, moving on to something I found on the Auction uh, Discord from someone who posted this. You can see the changes that were made, right? You see the AD diff. You lose roughly a longsword. Longsword is 10 AD. You lose 8.5. You see the HP growth. You gain roughly about 51. And then you see the armor. You gain about 8.5. Once again, as I mentioned earlier, you know, Ninja Tabbies play it. Play a huge role into this overgrowth play a huge role into this um armor flex that you're taking right if you're against a zed you're gonna go armor on your mini tree that plays a huge part into this even hp flex is more incentivized let's say hypothetically you don't know who you're actually laning against instead of taking armor or magic resist you take health and once again as i said earlier they scale off of each other you're happy to take scaling health now right so that's pretty cool now there is gold value in this graph as you can see the gold value lost on the health you're losing about or not health ad you're losing about 300 which is once again just shy of a longsword and then the gold value 136 for the hp and 170 for the armor your net positive but i think riot's whole intention of this was to net neutral which i think they did a pretty good job 8.5 gold value change is very very neutral you're getting eight gold extra, right? So, cool. Now you see this. Now you see my opinions. Now, real quick, I do want to mention some item changes and real quick, um, some champion changes that are also coming in this patch that will affect Auction. So, Lux is getting a very interesting buff. She's getting basically a very supported buff. I don't know why they say Lux mid. Q cooldown being decreased is definitely more of a support change than anything. Right? You just get more roots, but you're losing damage. I think this actually is a nerf for Auction because Auction is a very squishy champ in a lot of cases. If a champion lands a skill shot, right, that roots you or stuns you or whatever, you're always going to die. So Lux having more chances for that, it's really, really bad for Auction. Orianna, she's getting um, quite a bit of health and then W damage increase. Generally speaking, that probably won't matter, right? Twisted Fate is getting a very, very nice QAP ratio. I personally think Twisted Fate matchup is not good for Auction at all, right? A good Twisted Fate will always hold his stun card, you can never go in, and it's such a low cooldown that even if he doesn't, like, get a stun card immediately, he's gonna get two within the fight before you can even kill him, and also Twisted Fate likes to build HP items and be pretty fairly tanky, so this change is very good for Twisted Fate, not good for Auction. Vex buffs... One of Auction's hardest counters, 
that I personally used to pick every single time I was against Oxshun, but that just kind of feels like a shit champ. Now she's getting some love. Q damage is increased by 10. W cooldown decreased by 4 at the starting ranks. And then our... No one cares about that. But, I mean, hey, that's going to be something very important to note for our Oxshun players. And then Zoe HP regen increased. E-sleep duration increased, which is so fucking AIDS. And then E-magic resist increased to 30. In my opinion, not needed. Um, very, very strong champion at this point, and she's just going to be borderline OP. It's going to be a very hard matchup. Generally speaking, this matchup is a matchup where you struggle early. Once you get items, you do start cream. Sorry. Once you get items, you do start beating her, and uh, yeah, this will just make the matchup a lot more aids. Moving on to items, though, right? I spoke about Gore Drinker. I spoke about Tribreaker. They are getting buffed. Just that buffed with more HP. So they are pretty juicy of an item choice to go. Amora Shiobo is getting buffed as well, but this item generally is just terrible. Do not build this. Bloodthirster health threshold going from 50% to 70%. I think most of the case this doesn't matter, but um, you will probably build this item a little bit less. Um, and yeah, and I believe that is it for the auction changes. Cool. Anyways, that is the video. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of the changes. Me personally, I'm a fan of it. I do think into AP matchups, you are going to struggle um, just a little bit, but it shouldn't matter all too much. That is it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. Catch you in the next one. Ciao, ciao now.